Hi everybody, today I want to talk about capacitors. Once every so often, I get a customer come in who wants to improve the tone of their guitar, and one of the things that they suggest that they would like to do is change the capacitor in the tone circuit of their guitar, usually to improve the quality of that capacitor. Now, we see four types of capacitor regularly in guitar circuits. Obviously, the small ceramic ones like this, then there's the polypropylene ones that you often see in circuit boards. Then we see the modern Sprague cap, which is held up as the gold standard for uh, most guitars. And of course, then there is the vintage spec uh, Bumblebee cap, which is a, a rolled paper film capacitor, the rather large Bumblebee ones like this. So what's the difference between them? And what can they do inside your tone circuit? Well, to understand this, first you have to understand what your tone circuit is. In an AC circuit, such as an audio circuit, the property of the capacitor that we're looking at is really the reactance. Now, reactance is just a way of expressing resistance at different frequencies of audio signal. The reactance of a capacitor decreases very quickly as frequency increases. This means that its resistance to high frequencies is very low, its resistance to low frequencies is very high. So you can see from this basic low pass filter that on the output from B, you're going to see more of the low frequencies because the high frequencies are allowed to bleed through the capacitor and down to earth. Now this is very similar to what's in your guitar circuit. Here you see that same low pass filter, but in a typical modern guitar circuit. The pickup's wired to the top of the filter. The capacitor flows down to a tone pot, which allows you further control of how much current actually flows to earth. The rest of the signal goes out directly to the volume pot and from the volume pot directly out to the jack socket. And what you notice is that at no point does the signal at the tip of your jack socket actually flow through the capacitor. You've sat through the geeky electronics bit. Well done. So let's talk about practicalities, the bit that really matters. How does it affect your guitar tone when you fit one of these different types of capacitor? Well, you can see from the circuit diagram that actually the sound you hear at the output of your guitar doesn't actually flow through the capacitor at all. The capacitor is just a subtractive element which filters away some elements of your tone, some of the higher frequencies, and dumps them down to earth. They're gone. They're no longer part of your signal. So therefore the answer is, well, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. You can spend 25 pence on a capacitor or 25 pounds. The only thing that matters is the value of the capacitor. So what can you do with a capacitor to change the tone of your guitar? Well, it's simple, change the value. The higher the value, the lower the reactance, and therefore the more of your signal it will pass to earth. In other words, if you fit a larger capacitor, the tone of your guitar will get darker. And that will be at all points in your tonal range because the tone circuit's still connected to the guitar all the time. It's always having a small effect, even when the tone pot's turned all the way up. Now, of course, you can fit a no load pot and that takes the tone circuit out altogether if you have the tone turned all the way up. But that's it. If you want to change the tone of your guitar, change the value of the capacitor. But 25 pence, 25 pounds, it makes no difference. Thanks for watching. Hi. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe if you're on YouTube, leave a comment. It all drives the algorithm, which helps build the channel. Thanks again for watching.